When you're asked to factor something that ends in y squared like this one does, there's an official way to do it, but there's also a cheat way to do it. This cheat way is by no means mathematically official, but it works. So let me show you. Here's what I do when I'm given a question like this. I just pretend the y squared isn't even there. x squared minus 2x minus 35. There, that got rid of those y's. They're just gone. Now, factor this instead. This is an easy case of factoring. There's nothing in front of the x squared. Two numbers that multiply to negative 35 and add to negative 2. Uh, negative 7 and 5. Multiply to negative 35 and add to negative 2. Check out my other videos for how you can get those numbers. You basically have to guess, check, and keep trying until you stumble across them. Once you get there though, you're gonna be able to plug them in to this kind of expression pretty quickly. Minus 7 plus 5. That's the factored form of this. That's why it's called the easy case. Wasn't that easy? Now here comes the cheat way. There was a y squared there. We have to put the y's back in eventually. So when it's y squared at the end, you can usually just do this. The answer is x minus 7 y and x plus 5 y. Okay? It's the same thing, but I put y at the end of each of those. Let me take a look. What answer did I get before when I did it the hard way? Oh, look, it's the same answer. Except we cheated. Okay? Again, not mathematically okay, but still, I like doing it because it's easy and it works.